Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today is day three of owning your Cricut. Uh, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, so day three, day one was um, all the things that you need to know about how to use your Cricut, right? Like the actual Cricut machine itself um, and the tools that you'll need. Day two was a quick overview of Design Space so that you can get started and actually do a project. Day three today, we are focusing on two apps or two extra things that I would add on to your Cricut access. So let's get started. The first thing is if you look on the screen, this is a very popular request. How do I get the glyphs? How do I get that heart? How do I get all that stuff? So we're gonna download a font and I'm gonna show you how to use it. My two main go-tos are Create a Fabrica for all the fonts and the second one is Main Type. Main Type allows me to find all these glyphs. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you wanna just go to Google, type in main type this is the free edition so what happens is every time i download a font it becomes um available in main type so the one that i'm doing right now is hello honey and look at all the different little things over here that you can add there's two t's there's a heart uh there's like little glyphs before and after the letter let me show you what it looks like in creative fabrica so in Creative Fabrica, this is why I love Creative Fabrica so much. Let's just look at the fonts. Let's just look at the main page. So the main page gives you like just everything. We've got fonts, we've got images that you can print, uh, we've got SVG files, but just scroll through this. It's beautiful stuff. <laughs> and right now, if you click on my link, $5 a month is the whole, um, for the whole year, so $60, normally $348. So this is huge. Um, you get all your graphics fonts, classes, anything that is on here is available. And anytime, if you're planning on selling or whatever it is, uh, just know that the commercial license is already attached, so you're good to go. So I, every, every anything that I need, I go to Creative Fabrica so that I don't have to worry about my commercial license. So. Let's look at some fonts. I mean, just look at how fun these are, right? Um, and when you look at a font, so let's look at Gratitude, for instance. I have not downloaded this font, but once you have access to it, then anything you click on, you can just download. If you don't have the access, I do recommend you using the trial period, which is a dollar to try it for two weeks, I believe, and try all the different fonts and see if you use it. I personally love it. So you can scroll through this and see. So this is, you know, oh my gosh, look at that E. So it tells me that there are a lot of options on this font. So, oh yeah, the front, the ends, all these beautiful little glyphs. Look at that T and the H. Oh my goodness, I love it. So, this is what's available. Let's download this font so I can show you how to do it. So, you are going to download. Then, you get a zip file, which I believe you can see. Okay, perfect. We're going to uh, show in folder. And I'm going to double click on gratitude and... I want the open type font, so I am going to double click on it and then install. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this and put it into my desktop, okay? Because this is free. You don't need to have an account to use FontCloud, okay? So FontCloud is under tools. And this is great if you're just starting, even if you're not just starting, at some point you need to start. <laughs> so better today than never. Open up Font Cloud, okay? And I'm gonna explain why you need it. And I, I regret not having it from the beginning. So basically Font Cloud, every time I download a font, no matter where I download it, so whether it's on my desktop, on my phone, on my laptop, whatever, what you want to do is you want to go into your font cloud and font cloud is based on your login. It's free to just have this login. Again, it's free. So what you want to do is I'm going to go to browse and go to my desktop, right? Because that's where I put it. And did I put it in my 
your desktop or did I put it in my downloads? I did put it in my desktop. Okay, and it's called gratitude, right? Oh, here's my gratitude. I'm gonna double click on gratitude. It's now gonna be available in here. So I'm gonna type in Charlotte so I can see what the name Charlotte looks like in all the fonts that I have available. And let's go look at gratitude. Gratitude's down here. I mean, look at all these cute fonts. It's so much easier to see it here than it is in Cricut Design Space. Uh, so that's another reason. And also, I just love all the fonts. I find that it's difficult to use. I don't think that Cricut Design Space has enough options of the pretty ones. They have a lot of print ones, but I want my fancy, fun, you know, school stuff. This is a great font. Um, let's go down to, oh, I forgot what it's called already. Something with a G, right? Right. <laughs> um, gratitude. And that's what it looks like. I love it. So what happens is, let's say I downloaded it here on my desktop, right? Um, but I upgrade my computer. I have a brand new computer. I log into Font Cloud. And now if I don't have gratitude, but I want gratitude, I'm just going to go here, download the font. And so it's available with me. It's basically, it's a cloud. So it travels with me based on my login. I can go to my friend's house, use her computer. We can craft together and I still have access to all my fonts. So that's why you want to do this. Even if you've been crafting for 10 years and you haven't done this, I trust me until I've done, until I started using it, I had already gone through two laptops and each time I'm like, Oh, I can't remember all the fonts that I love. And so it's just, you know, managing your fonts. It's difficult. So, all right, that's why you want it. Font cloud is free no matter what, but I do again, love my subscription. All right. When you download a font, you have to close out of design space. So let me save this for a second. I'm going to show you how to do all this fun stuff. So let's save it. I'm gonna close out of it and then go back into design space. So let's go. And let's go back to, so go to my stuff because that's where all my projects are. Here is the one, I'm gonna customize it. Okay. You're gonna to go to font, you're gonna to go to system, and you're gonna search for your font. I already forgot what it's called. Something with a G. <laughs> I am so bad, is it here? No. It was here. What is it called? Gratitude. All right, let's go. See, and that's, I mean, I cannot remember my, I can't remember anything. So um, I need my font club. <laughs> All right, so I clicked on gratitude. You can bookmark it if you know it's gonna be one of those fonts that you always go to because then you can go over here and look at all my favorite fonts are over here. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. So I'm gonna type the same thing, Renata. Oh my God, that is such a cute font. I love it. Okay. So we have Renata. Let's go to main type and let's see if gratitude dropped in here. Oops, it would be helpful if I knew where I was going. And here's gratitude already, right? We didn't even have to do anything to main type, it already dropped in. So Renata, what are my options? Um, oh, I can have a pretty T. So what I'm gonna do is if I like this T, I highlight it, I look at it. And then I'm gonna hit Control C. I'm gonna go back into Design Space. Within Design Space, I'm gonna hit another letter. Okay, I'm gonna move this text box over here. I'm gonna click on the whole thing and then hit Control V. And there's my T. Some things that you need to know. The font has to be the same font that you're dropping in. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna change the font really quickly. I'm gonna go to Amelia. And so what happens is when I go to text, so my text is not matching, right? This is Amelia and I'm dropping in gratitude. So when I do control V, this is what happens. It becomes a box. It has to match the same font. So let's go to system, it's gratitude. There it is, 
is and there's my T, okay? So over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ungroup this. I'm gonna pull out this T, I'm gonna delete it and drop in my T here. So I'm gonna wanna move, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna move this A out of the way. I'm gonna put this T in, maybe even drop it down a little bit and then put my A over here. So the A doesn't really work with this T. I think it's so, it's a little messy, but we'll keep it just, just because I wanted to show you how to do that. Let's go back to main type and see what other fun things we could do. So, and I love this because when the O connects to a K, look at the K is on top, we need that. Or the double T's, we need that. Um, let's see what else is, oh my gosh, this G is gorgeous. Um, you know, I'm just gonna drop it in because I wanna see this beautiful G. I'm gonna go to design space. I have control G or control C. I'm gonna drop control V. Does that go? Oh no, this is still Amelia. So I'm gonna go back to gratitude. And there's my G. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love it. All right. Are you happy with that? Okay, let's look at Renata. Renata is Hello Honey, okay? So for Hello Honey, let's go to text box. I'm gonna change this and it's one of my bookmarked. So Hello Honey is down here. Clicked on it and here's, so I'm gonna type in Renata. This is what Renata looks like straight from just design space. Oops. It looks nothing like this, right? But easy peasy, while it's still here, I'm gonna ungroup it. Then I'm gonna go get my A. So I'm gonna go into main type, and let's see, this is Hello Honey. <laughs> I'm gonna get my font straight. Here's Hello Honey, and I need my R. This is the front R. I'm gonna hit Control C, go into design space, click on this R, and drop it in. All we need to do is just move it over. There we go. And then I need my A. My A is the heart. So let's go to over here. Let's look at my hearts. Oh, here it is. My A with the heart. Control C, go in here, Control V. And then I can just go to text. I'm gonna move my text box and I'm gonna type in my name, Anne. But I need to go change that N, right? So I'm gonna ungroup this, knowing that I'm gonna replace the N. Go to main type, and let's look for my beautiful N, which is right here. Control C, go to design space, and double click on the N, Control V. And there I have it. I'm gonna grab this whole thing, and I'm gonna go to combine and weld. So let's go back to um, Creative Fabrica just for a second in case you're still not convinced. <laughs> Let me show you all the fun things that you can go and do in here. In fonts, let's look at the script fonts because I feel like that's the one that everyone loves. So just by clicking on the main topic, I mean, look at how many pages you can have. Look at it's so cute. This hello font is cute. This winter font is cute. This Grinch is super cute. <laughs> um, I just love it all. This one's cute. This one's straight up. This one's like slanted a little bit. Um, I just love it. There's so many different options. Very similar, but different, right? There's there's a font for everything. And you can, you know, you can search up here. I can do like, let's say a Christmas font. So I'm just gonna type in Christmas font and see what I get. Um, we've got this, oh no. So be careful, when they say font, you don't want an SVG or JPEG. That means each individual letter you're gonna need to update but let's see if there's any other Christmas fonts. This, no, that's also an SVG. I don't want an SVG, but that is beautiful. Okay, this one is, so let's click on this. So here's a Christmas font. Is it a Christmas font? No, because it's, a, no, 
It's not. Let's go back. It's an individual file, which I do not want. Um, here is a Christmas one, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I want to show you like really cute. Let's look at Halloween. Halloween fonts. Like, uh, oh, here. Oh my gosh. This one is stinking cute. Look at all the skulls and you can see, I love it. The other way that you can tell is when you, it, there's always a bar that says try this font. So I'm gonna try Charlotte. And this is what Charlotte looks like in this font. It's cute, right? There's so many things that you can search for. Uh, so look at all the different ones in fonts. In your graphics, these are great for uh, kick toppers, um, for print stickers, whatever it is, like your backgrounds, like your patterns, um, but also like actual scenes. So look at all these that come with it. I mean, I'm absolutely in love with it. SVG files. So let's say you're looking for hmm, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's um, SVGs. Let's just see what they have. So you've got Lucky Mama. How cute is that? That's ready to go. You've got your little pot of gold. There's so much here that's included in your subscription if you get it. I know. I, I well, right now with this deal for $5 a month, all of this is available. I love it. Between this and Cricut Access, that's all you need. Um, main type is free, so I wanted to show you that. And yeah, this will get you everything that you need. Let's see what else. Um, so there's all these crafts, there's classes that are included. I have some Cricut classes on here, so you can definitely go and look. I wonder, I haven't really, oh, oops, wrong, hold on. Hold on, let me see. Um, let's look up the useless crafter. I don't know if you can find me. I've actually never, never looked random useless stuff. I might need that. <laughs> but you can find me here. And uh, let's see, teachers. Oh, um, oh, the other thing that I want to show you is Shape Cloud. Shape Cloud is a lot of fun. You can pick your shape, type in a bunch of names. We did this for cheerleaders one year, all the cheerleaders on the team. Um, you can create this, download it, upload it into Design Space and have a lot of fun. So um, there you have it. Come join me at Creative Fabrica because I'm always pulling fonts from Creative Fabrica. You know, all my new fonts always come from, from Creative Fabrica. Um, all right. And lastly, if you just got started, or even if you've been here for a while, I, my workshop, the only workshops that I have scheduled for 2023 is in February. It's called XOXO Craft Girls. Um, please, the link is there. Look it up. See if you want to join us. It is a great way to learn two things. One, if you're just starting, it's a great way to actually do a project because we'll um, show you step by step. You'll have access to the videos um, after the class and all the links, all the colors that we used, exactly everything. Um, but it's a good way to get started because afterwards you will be so comfortable and you'll be doing your own projects. If you've been crafting for a while, it's still a great class because you're going to be able to concentrate more on how we layer, how we use the different things to make it so extra, whether it's the motor for the cake topper that you know keeps going around and around. We use the, the clock mechanism. Uh, we've got acetate, glitter paper, HTV, all of that so that you guys are learning how we craft, how we layer um, our style, which I'm not saying you have to you know, pick up our style, but it's it's nice to understand how to create my style and then decide where do you want to make changes? Do you like that kind of offset or not? How many layers do you want to stop? You know, where do you want to stop? How extra do you want to be? Or do you not want to be extra at all? Now that you've learned this technique, go simple. Um, but it's a great way to determine your style and figure out how to how to go about you know creating all your designs. So I hope to see you there. I love teaching classes, and um, 
I'd love to connect with you. So anyway, the links are all there in the description. Happy crafting. I'm so excited that you're joining me on this Cricut journey. I absolutely, I mean, just crafting brings a lot of joy to my life. So I hope to share that with you and make it as easy as possible. All right, comments, questions, please post them below. See you on day four.